This is a very unusual screwdriver with an octagonal shank. I've never seen one like it and was unable to find any pictures of one online. It's dirty and rusty and the shank has some kind of glue on it or epoxy or something like that. Uh, it won't come off with scraping. Looks like I'm going to have to go nuclear on this screwdriver shank. I'm using the wire brush to get most of the rust and crud off the shank and the ferrule. The handle's in pretty rough shape, so I'm going to make another one. Here I'm making a template to use when I turn the new handle. Here I'm removing the handle from the shank. Removing the ferrule from the shank proved to be a little difficult, but it finally came loose. Removing the remains of the handle from the ferrule was tedious also. The shank has a very slight bend in it, so I thought I'd see if I could correct it. This is very touchy because you have to be very careful not to damage the octagonal facets on the shank. At this point I decided I was doing more harm than good so I quit. I'm using the Scout Crafter method of reshaping a flat blade screwdriver shank. It really works. Now for some work with the fiber wheel. Now the polishing process starts. This is very tedious work and it takes a long time. You also have to be very careful not to round off the octagonal facets of the shank.
Here I'm attempting to dress the facets with a 300 grit diamond stone. More polishing with progressively finer grits down to 600. Now the buffing wheel with Eastwood Tripoli. Followed up with Eastwood White Rouge. Now I'm smoothing and polishing the ferrule on the lathe. I'm going to make the handle out of a piece of seasoned maple from my backyard. This piece of maple has been drying for a couple of years now. I'm trying to get the handle as smooth as I can before I take it off the lathe. I applied a coat of sealer to the handle along with several coats of polyacrylic. I decided not to stain the handle because I think the maple's pretty just the way it is. Now it's time to epoxy the shank and the ferrule to the handle. So here's what this rusty, crusty, octagonal shank screwdriver looked like before I started working on it.
And here's the finished product. I'm pleased with the way it turned out and I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.